looking at the year and, and one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to come back in 2022 was that um, with JT kind of in that starting job and, and playing, playing very well through his, through his past couple years, uh, it was kind of where we deemed the, the best opportunity for myself to be able to get those in-between moments, whether it's the Open Cup, whether it's the uh, kind of MLS Next Pro on off weekends, whatever it was, I felt that would be the best way. My wife and I felt that would be the best way for, for us to get some minutes and to kind of have a little bit more relevance again after kind of the years of being third or, or dealing with injury last year or all those type of situations. I definitely felt like this year having, having those opportunities at our disposal would be the best ways to get get minutes get comfortable remind the fan base remind everything like that kind of the qualities that we have definitely within 2022 there's more notoriety amongst the fan base because for the longest time i was always the guy who was nice to the fans and and supportive and whatnot and the the advocate for things like the lgbtq plus community and things like that but there was minimal uh obviously game time experience especially first team experience because not many of these fans were the ones watching Reno. If you watched Reno, you knew everything about JT and myself before we ever played. But if you missed the Reno games, then yeah, for besides the Manchester United half, I was relatively unknown amongst the first team uh, fan base. And so it was kind of nice to be able to put minutes to a face after all these years. And I joked with it, one of the fans uh, after, after the, first, uh, the first Open Cup game came up to me and he's like, well, you didn't suck. And I was like, yeah, ne never did. Just obviously you guys haven't seen me play. So I think that was kind of a cool experience to be able to have these fans and even have these teammates and stuff like trust you just a little bit more after playing those minutes. I mean, you kind of have like, uh, as when you sign up to be the number two, you're basically buying into to the fact that whenever needed, you're available, right? So uh, you never want to, get that first game or get that what uh, like whatever opportunity at another player's expense physically and whatnot so when, when you see JT take that knock and it gives me the chance to then go in uh, first off thankful that he was okay and it's nothing too too serious and whatnot but then at that point your competitive juices and whatnot you gotta you gotta get you gotta get flowing because you're expected to be at that level and then like I said JT's had a wonderful season and so for me, being able to obviously train with him the last few years and uh, for us to have that kind of back and forth, it's been really good on preparation scale because when I get that opportunity to go in, teammates trust me playing those Open Cup games, you know, we kind of have that kind of relationship and whatnot. And yeah, it's just like you got to be able to switch it on for the games. And, and that was a pretty amazing experience to be able to do that. And like I said, first and foremost, uh, JT's good, healthy, stuff like that. So that, that just, it was a uh, full circle. It was, it was all good. Like these were amazing um, feats, amazing opportunities to get in the game and uh, to kind of show off that being at the MLS level is something that I, I've always felt I deserved and I always felt that I'd earned. And for like my friends, family, you know, everybody to see it in the game, you know, it's much more than just a simple conversation amongst me and telling you how good it's been in scrimmages and whatnot to actually see that 90 minutes and what and everything. It's been an amazing experience. And uh, leading into future weeks, um, in the same way that JT supported me in these last two weeks and that I've supported him kind of the whole time that he's been playing and whatever, we're moving on and that's the life of a goalkeeper. You make yourself as, a, as available and as ready as you can be for whatever the opportunity comes. And if that's more this season, that's more this season another time, but uh, it's just operation as usual, the way, that, the way it's been before and just do whatever we possibly can to help the team get a win. And that, that's where we're at right now. And as we head into Dallas, as we head into these upcoming games, uh, wins are our priority, as they should be. And that's everything we're thinking about.